Hello, everybody, and welcome to Uncle Todd for Christ. Thank you for joining me on this December 25th, 2022, Christmas Day, guys. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, Jesus. It is 3.39 p.m. Eastern Time as I speak and record. Yep, getting on here even on Christmas Day. You would think with the hustle and the bustle. <laughs> you guys have been hearing me talk lately about all that, but what a blessed day it's been from the moment he woke me up until right now. It's, just, it's been an amazing day. I mean... His birthday, but his he continues to bless us. It's Jesus' birthday, but the blessings just keep coming from him. So, hallelujah. But guys, thank you for joining me today. Today's title, The Heavens Declare. The Heavens Declare. Hmm. Our study scriptures, haven't said this in a while, it's Psalm 19, 1 through 6 is what the author has picked. While you're in there, you know what? For Jesus' birthday, why don't you go ahead and read 7 through 14, those last eight uh, it's only I, th I think it's only 14 uh, verses long, folks. It's a uh, it's a beautiful psalm. But uh, 19, one through six is our studies. In Psalm 19, verse one is our lead off verse, and the Word of God says, "The heavens declare the glory of God; the skies proclaim the works of His hands." Mm. Joe Stow has this to write on Christmas Day here. Uh, you don't have to gaze long at the night sky to marvel at the wonder of God's awe-inspiring handiwork. No, you do not. The massive stretch of galaxies and the cloudy mass of our own Milky Way reminds us of the spectacular creation and the sustaining work of Jesus by whom it is all held together. Colossians 1, 16-17 but the nightly show we experience is nothing compared with the glory that God displayed when he sent his son to earth. Amen to that. While shepherds were watching their flocks, the sky was suddenly ablaze with angelic messengers, messengers praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest. I believe we read that yesterday, folks, about the shepherds out in the field. Yes, yesterday's. Um, that's Luke chapter 2, verse 14. That was in our studies. Even Magi from a foreign land came and worshipped the king when God planted the brightest of stars in the east, leading them to Bethlehem. While the heavens declare the glory of God nightly, never before or since has the feeder of the universe been more alive with his glory hmm, than when the creator loved us enough to come to our planet to save us from our sin. Keep that in mind the next time you marvel at the stars. Hey, Amen. You know what, Lord? This is your birthday. This day, every day should be all about God. But get, folks, for me, especially today being Christmas, I'm not going to take long on this one. I just think we all just need to take some extra alone time today to be with the Lord by ourselves and just praise him, praise him, praise him, give him honor and glory for what he's done. We said, I think I may have said yesterday and heard it again today at church, you know, the birth of Christ. If it wasn't for the birth of Jesus, there would have never been the crucifixion and the resurrection. Without that, there's no redemption or salvation. And without that, there is no promise to eternity in heaven. So, guys, this birth was so, so much more of a miracle than what we realize. And just imagine that God came here himself. As a, as a baby, born of the Virgin Mary and what he went through, we just talked about this, but with it being Christmas, I think it's an awesome reminder. But then to know that the heavens declare, and God, I printed out our study scriptures in this verse here. Uh, let's see if I can find it here without taking up too much time. I believe it's verse two. It says, day after day, talking about the heavens and the stars, the skies, day after day, they continue to speak. Night after night, they make him known. Verse three, they speak without a sound or a word. Their voice is never heard. I mean, guys, let that sink in. Just the, the glory of the heavens, the stars, the galaxies, the planets. They don't make a noise. They don't make a sound, but they speak such high volumes of God's miraculous handiwork, his glory. The heavens declare his glory just by their beauty. I mean, We've said repeatedly about, you know, we're still counting stars. We're still counting them. You know, we've got uh, astronomers and astrologists and scientists and all of these people, high dollar equipment. We've said this before, guys, still counting stars and still naming them. Guess what? God's already named them all. 
he's already named them all. But just something that's so silent and so quiet. And for me personally, guys, I mean, look at the background, you know, and I did a little research before we got on here, guys, we're not going to debate and argue. Some people say, well, the, the wise men were on a camel or they weren't kings or they were, and there's three. Well, how do you know there was three to bop, guys? We're not going to get into that arguing debate. Why? Because the word of God says not to. We know that they were uh, three wise men, magi, whatever you choose to pick, because it depends on the translation and the version of the Bible you're reading. But the the the, the star, this this the, the the north star that was shining in the east above Bethlehem is what led them. That star spoke such loud volume. That star saying, "Follow me," because when you come and meet, come to me. Keep following me until I stop. And when I stop, behold, you know. And the word does say, you know, they they entered the house. So Jesus was already born by the time the uh, the, the three wise men got there. But just how loud that star was, and how, how I, I can only imagine how bright that was. And yes, we know that Jesus Christ is the bright and morning star. I understand that. But guys, when I read this devotional. And I think about the actual physical stars that are in the skies that are always there. We can't see them during the daytime, but they're still there. Um, just what volumes they speak. They speak so loud without making a noise, without making a noise. And uh, sometimes we can do that, guys. You know, sometimes we can just be that example by saying less. You know, you know, it's, uh, um, a friend of mine, a buddy of mine says, you know, God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason. We need to listen more and talk less. That's so true. Just being that example, we, we constantly say that. But guys, I'm just going to cut this one short. I just think we all need to take extra time today just to spend alone with the Lord and praising him. And just picturing, you know, what Jesus, the, the baby Jesus being born and what he went through for 30 plus years and how it ended for us. And that he's still interceding on our behalf, even on his birthday even though we may have made it more about what gifts we got than the gift that he gave us. So guys, just, uh, just thank you for joining me today. I'm going to cut it off here and until tomorrow on December 26th, we'll see what the Lord says then. I love you guys.